गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम फाजिल खान टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट इलेस्ट्रेशन ऑफ विंग जोमेट्री सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल विल गो विथ विंग एक्चुअली वॉट इज अ विंग अ विंग इज अ टाइप ऑफ विंग डेट प्रोड्यूस लिफ्ट वाइल मूविंग थ्रू एयर और सम अदर फ्लूड एज सच विंग्स हैव स्ट्रीम लाइन क्रॉस सेक्शन डेट आर सब्जेक्ट टू एरोडाइनमिक फोर्सेज एंड एक्ट एज एयर फॉल्स सो विंग इज अ टाइप ऑफ विंग डेट प्रोड्यूस लिफ्ट लिफ्ट टू एन एयरक्राफ्ट विंग इज यू विंग इज अ पार्ट ऑफ एयरक्राफ्ट The design and analysis of the wing of aircraft is one of the principal application of the science of aerodynamics which is a branch of fluid mechanics so the design and analysis of wing of aircraft is a principal application of science of aerodynamics and it is a branch of fluid mechanics wing is a branch of fluid mechanics design design of wing wing is a branch of fluid mechanics for a wing to produce lift it must be oriented at a suitable angle of attack when this occurs the wing deflects the air flow downwards as it passes the wing since the wing exerts a force on the air to change its direction the air must also exert an equal and opposite force on the wing resulting in different air pressures over the surface of the wing so uh, how the wing will produce the lift it must be oriented at a suitable uh, uh, angle of attack then it can uh, give up a suitable uh, lift to the aircraft so what are types of wings we are having elliptical wing high speed wing long soaring wings and high lift board soaring wing so uh, we'll see elliptical wings elliptical wings are found on bats and most small forest and scrub dwelling birds such as robins and sparrows so elliptical wings are uh, found on birds on bats and uh, forest dwelling birds robins and sparrows so high speed wings what are high speed wings which will give a high, which will give high speed to the aircraft wing design for speed are found on swallows falcons and shorebirds and ducks so uh, we'll get uh, wings for high speed from uh, swallows falcons shorebirds and ducks long soaring wings and uh, high lift or broad soaring wings so wing configuration we'll see the configuration of wing so uh, aircraft design are often classified their wing configuration aircraft is defi- uh, design are often classified by the wing configuration the wing configuration of a fixed wing aircraft includes including both gliders and power airplanes is its arrangement of lifting and related surface most fixed wing aircraft have left hand and right hand wings in a symmetrical arrangement so most uh, fixed wing aircraft having left hand and right hand wings in a symmetrical arrangement so uh, wing configuration of a fixed wing aircraft including both gliders and powered airplanes is its arrangement of lifting and related surface what are wings so wings are basically they are air foils wings are uh, basically they are air foils that, uh, that when moved rapidly through the air create lift so wings when move rapidly through air uh, they will create uh, they will create lift lift to the aircraft they are built in many shapes and sizes wing designs can vary to provide certain desirable flight characteristics control at various operating speeds the amount of lift generated balance and stability all changing the shape of wing uh, so uh, wing balance the aircraft flow uh, so airfoil what is airfoil airfoil it is the shape of a wing or blade or a propeller rotor or turbine or sail as seen in cross section uh, air airfoil having leading edge forward uh, edge of the airfoil trailing edge after edge of the airfoil cord line connecting to the leading edge to the trailing edge denotes the length of airfoil 
is called chord main Campbell line line drawn halfway between the upper and lower surface of the airfoil denotes the amount of curvature of the wing point of maximum thickness here we can see this the upper uh, first point of the airfoil is called as leading edge and the last point of the airfoil is uh, called as uh, trailing edge the mid uh, the line joining the uh, leading edge uh, leading edge and trailing edge is called chord line and here we can see this uh, up force is uh, uh, lift and back force is called as drag force and here we can see the race uh, uh, high speed reduced pressure and uh, upper streamline lower streamline high pressure low velocity where uh, low pressure will get the high velocity uh, from the uh, airfoil so uh, blue line is showing the longer distance and sh sh red line is showing the uh, shorter distance so wing geometry the front of the wing is called the leading edge as we have said before uh, and uh, later we'll see more examples for leading and trailing edge the back of the wing at the top is called as a trailing edge and the distance from the leading edge to trailing edge is called the chord the ends of the wing are called wing tips and the distance from one wing tip to the uh, other is called the span wing span here we can see that uh, that is the leading edge, uh, that is the trailing edge, that is chord line, and from the one uh, uh, tip tip of the uh, one side wing tip to the another side wing tip, it is called as the wing span. See one more example. For uh, we, we can uh, let's see the example of symmetrical airfoil. Uh, that is a chord line and the thickness uh, uh, thickness and that is a camber line uh, mean camber line so it is a side view of a, of a airfoil so uh, you can see the tip of the airfoil the two side end part of the wing is called as tip there from the front new front view and uh, uh, leading edge wing area so aspect ratio we can find as s square by a as a square by c for for rectangle uh, air airfoil aspect ratio is s by c top view top view shows a simple rectangular wing geometry the front of the wing at the bottom is called the leading edge the back of the wing at the top is called the trailing edge the distance from the leading edge to trailing edges is called the chord the ends of the wing are called wing tips and the uh, distance from the wing tip to the other is called the span here we, there is a one exam one more example for uh, leading edge trailing edge chord line mean camber line upper surface of uh, airfoil lower surface of airfoil and up uh, leading edge uh, radius location of maximum thickness where is the maximum thickness mean camber line and uh, location of maximum camber and uh, chord chord line trailing edge so front front view front view of airfoil the front view of the uh, front view of the wing shows that the left and right wing do not lie in the same plane but meet at an angle the angle that the wing makes with the local horizontal is called the dihedral angle if the tips are higher than the root or the anhedral angle if the tips are lower than the, uh, the angle that wing makes with local horizontal with local horizontal angle which may which wing makes is called dihedral angle if the tips are higher than the roots or the an uh, is called as anhedral angle if the tips are lower than the root this is the uh, upper surf, uh, upper view of the wing uh, and all arrangement of airfoils in a wing so that is the leading edge that is a trailing edge uh, sparse connected to the airfoils and uh, that is the upper surface cord line camber line lower surface of the airfoil ribs what are ribs are called what are sparse are called all are specified in this uh, pic and uh, we'll go with aspect ratio now 
uh, the aspect ratio of a wing is is defined to the square of the span divided by the wing area aspect ratio is a uh, measure of how long and slender a wing is from tip to tip like we have said you from tip to tip is called as wing span so uh, to find the span we used to find aspect ratio that is aspect ratio what is aspect ratio is the square of span divided by the wing area so aspect ratio is the span divided the mean or average chord it is a measure of how long and slender the wing appears when seen from above or below low aspect ratio short and stubby wing moderate aspect ratio general purpose wing high aspect ratio long and slender wing so if you having low aspect ratio that is short and uh, we, uh, wing we have having that is short and stubby if we having moderate aspect ratio then the wing we have in general or purpose if you having high aspect ratio let the wing be having long and slender so uh, uh, here in this we i'll uh, introduce the wing construction construction wing construction is a similar in most modern aircraft in its simplest form the wing is a framework made up of spars and ribs and uh, covered with metal the construction of an aircraft wing is shown as i have shown the upper uh, upper view of the wing just before and here i can see you the how the airfoils are attached to the spars or ribs and uh, will cover this uh, spars and ribs with a metal surface then we'll get the uh, here then we'll get the wing here we can see the how we are uh, how we are covering the metal surface to the spars and uh, uh, spars and ribs uh, to air foils uh, to get the wings uh, there is those are the spar web and the cover skin transverse rib longitudinal stringers sparse cap uh, this is the internal structure of a wing you, you will get to see what is the sparse uh, and ailerons desert equipment between ribs uh, 9 and 12 structure in a way of radiator desert equipment main, main sparse rib to so water ribs the part of a wing which support the covering and provide the airfoil shape rib provide the airfoil shape and, uh, uh, and rib support uh, for the covering purpose and spars running span wise span wise at right angles or there are uh, there abouts depending on wing sweep to the fuselage stringers a strip of wood or metal to which the skin of an aircraft is fastened stability devices on wings uh, so what are stability devices on wings we are having uh, forces right left force and right force uh, and the distance from right to left uh, those are tip points and uh, we having a left uh, we having uh, ailerons flaps and center of gravity ailerons increase or decrease lift systematically in order to change role and thus move the aircraft left or right while flying ailerons are hinged sections fitted at the rear of each wing so so ailerons on wings we used for roll purpose and to and to change the direction we use rudder which is, uh, which will present in stabilizer and tail unit and uh, for lift purpose we can use uh, we will use uh, uh, flaps uh, elevators as well as flaps so stability devices on wings are uh, uh, one more i have said just i have said the uh, flap ailerons and now i am going to tell about flaps so flaps are devices used to alter the lift characteristics of a wing and are mounted on the trailing edges of the wings of a fixed wing aircraft to reduce the speed at which the aircraft can be safely flown and to increase the angle of descent for landing they shorten take off and landing distances flaps do this by lowering the stall speed and increasing the drag so we'll see the wings based on positions how many positions wings we have the wing may be mounted at various position related to the fuselage low wing mid wing high wing these are the basic wings and uh, other we have dihedral and hadral inverted bell uh, low wing is placed uh, below the fuselage and mid wing is placed 
between the fuselage and high wing is placed on the shoulder of the fuselage and inverted girl is uh, placed uh, on the place between uh, uh, place under the fuse uh, under the fuselage and it is swept from the down to up and the gull gull wing is uh, like uh, placed up above the shoulder to the fuselage and it is and it is also swept to down dihedral and anhedral we dihedral is placed uh, uh, below the fuselage and it has it is having some angle uh, which is uh, and anhedral wing is placed above the fuselage with having some angle so based on position we are having high wing low wing mid wing and parasol wing and hadral wing dihedral wing girl and inverted girl wing so low wing i as i have said you mounted near or below the bottom of the fuselage mid wing mounted approximately halfway up the fuselage shoulder wing mounted um, the upper part or uh, shoulder of the fuse fuselage uh, slightly below the top of the fuselage so uh, i have said you before the uh, wings uh, uh, structures so here there are some more uh, wings based on structure like uh, we having elliptical wing and tapered wing swept back wing delta wing and straight wing these wings are used as uh, as our aircraft performance will uh, will take the wings uh, uh, as a uh, high high speed for uh, good angle of attack for aircraft uh, uh, efficiency and aircraft performance will take such uh, our our wings wing construction is similar in most modern aircraft in its simplest form the wing is a framework made up of spars and ribs and covered with metal the construction of an aircraft wing ribs give the wing section its shape and they transmit the air load from the wing covering to the spars most airplane structures include a fuselage wings and uh, empennage landing gear and a power plant vertical and horizontal stabilizers the fuselage is the central body of the air, of an airplane and is designed to accommodate the crew passengers and cargo so here uh, the parts of aircraft what aircraft are having aircraft first it is having cockpit that is nose part where the all uh, flying instruments are equipped and uh, 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 ca uh, pilot cabin will be there and fuselage body is used for cargo purpose and uh, passengers and uh, slats we use spoiler ailerons flaps the this all uh, will be on wings and uh, so sometimes uh, for uh, airbus type of uh, aircraft jet engines will be there on wings and we having horizontal stabilizer and on horizontal uh, stabilizer we are having elevators which are used for the uh, yaw wing purpose and on vertical stabilizer we are having rudder which is used for uh, uh, is used to uh, turn the aircraft to direct the uh, another location so how lift is generated in aircraft the basic principle behind in lift is described described by bernoulli's theorem air that travels over the top surface of the airfoil has to travel faster and thus gains dynamic pressure the subsequent laws of static pressure creates a pressure difference between between the upper and lower surfaces it is called lift and opposes the weight of an aircraft or thrust that opposes drag as the angle of attack the angle between the chord line and the relative air flow is increased more lift is created once the critical angle of attack is reached generally around 14 degrees the airfoil will stall so here is the uh, development of wings from 1900 to 2050 this is the picture where we are having uh, wings in 1900 century and now we are upgraded to a topmost level of wings like uh, here this is the example of 2015 century wings we are having this type of wings those days they are having uh, those wings now we are having such wings 
thank you uh, this is all about the wing geometry and uh, part of aircrafts and wings thank you